I'm here at 12 volt power with a wall of Comet handheld antennas behind me. And, and Jeremy's gonna walk me through deciphering all of this. How's it going? Thanks for, yeah, yeah, thanks no for having problem. me out. I'm gonna do my best, obviously. Yeah, but... no, yeah. But you got an HT there. I do. And uh, the first thing that everybody always does is what? Upgrade, Upgrade the antenna. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, the, what I have on here is our uh, SMA 503. Mm -hmm. Now that's a VHF UHF antenna. Um, and it does give you a little bit more of a DB gain. Um, while also allowing you to have that flexibility to where, um, you know, the rubber ducks don't really yep. flex it that well. I right? put my HT on my backpack strap usually, and, you know, inevitably you're going to bump into something. Right, right. Rubber duckies are not that great for that. Exactly. They're resilient, but it's not a fantastic performance. Exactly. So, um, you know, again, like I said, first thing, we're going to upgrade to, to, to this right. style antenna. So what other HT upgrade antennas kind of are on the path here yeah. that we can talk about? So we actually have, um, you know, we, we talked about this before. We have our SMA24, which is <laughs> <I'll go ahead. laughs> which is our longer antenna. Um, again, it, it's made out of that, that uh, eyeglass material to where it bends and, and you know, uh, twists and whatever. So you mm -hmm. don't have that worry of snapping it in half like you do a lot of other antennas, right? right. A lot of the stiffer antennas. So you get the option of an SMA as well as the reverse SMA. Again, this is going to be our uh, dual band high gain antenna. So you're gonna be a step up from this one here and you're gonna get a little bit, even a little bit more gain with this antenna. Okay. Uh, again, flexible, you put it on your belt. I've seen a lot of guys do it at the ham shows, right? Yep. And it doesn't poke you in the side or anything You can tie like a that. knot into it too exactly. and then you know it's not gonna poke anybody. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, now for the guys who love the stubby antennas, uh, we also have an option for you. So don't worry, we didn't leave you guys out. <laughs> Um, we do have our SMA 501. Uh, this is actually our very wide band um, antenna here. Uh, this gives you an option of, you know, 118, two, so it goes through 250, 360, right. 440, 800, all the way up to like 1300 megahertz. So exactly. this is like a receive prominent. Exactly, antenna. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're not going to have a, a radio that does all of those things as far as trans. No, and, <laughs> and, and, and guys, you know, just so you're aware, if the antenna is this big, it's not going to be a fantastic transmitting antenna. But I know a lot of people use these at home put their HT in low power and they use this for their hotspots for doing digital modes. Exactly. So that's that's one of the reasons you might like it or, or if you have a scanner. Exactly. Yeah. And that and that's our, I call it our stiff model, you know, our stiff stubby. Oh, stiff model, yeah. okay. <laughs> Um, and that, that one had a, a blue pill, I guess. Ex exactly. Uh, we also have our uh, one of our more popular stubbies, uh, our 209s. Uh, oh, this and, one is flexible. It's flexible. <laughs> didn't have the now blue, that, didn't now have that the we blue have pill that image. Yeah, yeah, now that we got that image. <laughs> exactly. Right. Um, so so that one is uh, uh, only a UHF, VHF antenna. Okay. Um, but it, it's the same type of, of antenna. You get that stubby style. Um, not so much gain, um, but it's still a great performer. We, we've you know seen people walking around, again, the ham shows or, or the parks sure. or things like that. Yeah. Short, short simplex, mm -hmm. you know, stuff. Like I call them ham fest antennas, event antennas. Exactly. If you work with like Aries or Racy's exactly. and you need something local, right. um, you'd go still to your base station, 50 watts to, to get the, the full size antenna. Right. But local comms, these are these are great. Yeah, a couple other options for you guys out there that uh, maybe have uh, scanners. Um, okay. You know, lis listening to uh, the police frequencies. If if they if you still have some in your area, they're doing UHF, VHF, or or even the 800 megahertz um, antennas. Um, I know uh, Josh here. This is one of his uh, more favorite ones um, <laughs> so the, uh, I have this yeah so uh, this one that comes in the BNC again the um, you know everybody knows that most of the time you're getting your scanners with the BNC connectors um, now uh, this one does extend out um, I don't have one open to show you but this one does extend out and it does have uh, you know wide wide receive for it. the the nice thing about this and this is again for receivers you're not going to transmit exactly. into this but it's got a double pivot so if you were to like lay your handheld on the ground let's say you had a handheld scanner you could pivot it up right angle mm -hmm. or if you're at a, a weird you know whatever you could do another pivot and when it's docked on your radio on your belt or whatever, you can fold it all the way over so it's running flash or flush up against your your radio so that you you, you can just carry it, not shear something off because it's a it's a metal yeah, antenna, a, yeah. yeah. So these are good too if you have like a uh, like a an older scanner, like a mm -hmm. box, and you just need to have an antenna out the back of it, BNC in, right angle, straight up. Yeah, those, those older Bearcats, right? The, yeah, the yeah, here. exactly. Like the Bearcats. This is a great one. Uh, it's a good second antenna option. Exactly. Always have a scanner antenna outside your house, right. but if you're outside or you you just need something temporary, boom, this is a good one. Yeah.
So, so the next one here, uh, we're starting off with the, the CHA32. Uh, this one, again, comes in the BNC connector. Unfortunately, we don't have the SMA and the, and the reverse SMA mm -hmm. ones. Um, okay. But again, great, great receive uh, uh, antenna as well as it's being a, a tri-band antenna. Um, so you have that capability of uh, UHF, VHF, and then receiving 900. the 900. Yeah. Correct. For you guys who did the recommended thing that I've said is have a... SMA to BNC female connector, so you can just quick connect on and off different antennas. This is the stubby that I use because of that exact thing. I don't want to take my adapter off, but I do want to use a stubby if I'm going to be just in the home using my hotspot, then I switch over to this guy. So. Well, thank you for explaining all that. <laughs> what is your favorite HT antenna? So uh, my favorite actually kind of gives you uh, the best of a lot of the worlds. I want to say both because sure. Tri-band antenna. Uh, Tri-band, right? okay. So, um, yeah, we actually have this uh, HT224, um, and the really cool thing about this is, like I said, it is tri-band, but it's also very flexible. Okay. Again. So, again, not having the issue of poking yourself or, or poking somebody else or anything mm -hmm. like that. So good for you uh, people who just picked up a D75, perhaps, because it's tri-band. This is, uh, I, I haven't experimented with one of these, but obviously, you know I do those every manned antenna reviews, so I'm probably gonna add this to the list to take yeah. out to the park we'll, and we'll test. We'll get you one. We'll yeah, you right one. on. Well, thanks again <laughs> yeah, for having course, me out. I really appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, anytime, come by, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll help you out, so. So just keep in mind, every time you go to HRO, Gigaparts, DX Engineering, and you see Comet or Daiwa or 12 volt power, this is where it's coming out of. So yeah, super awesome that you guys are, are on the scene and hoping, excited to see more from you. Yeah, thank you. How's it going, everybody? I'm at 12 volt power, and I'm standing in front of this wall of Comet HT antennas, and Jeremy's gonna, that's the eye screwed up. <laughs> See, now you. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> Got a delivery, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> How's it going, everybody? I'm still at 12. No, that's not a good opening. Now you got me. <laughs>